Every time I load a new roll of film, I hope to find the special moments, the dramatic light, the unique. But the reality is, I'm more likely to find the ordinary. All I can do is try to make the best of what's in front of me. All I can do is embrace the ordinary. My name is David Patton. When I started photography, I wanted to make art. But with bills to pay and a family to feed, I decided it would be better to be a working photographer than a starving artist. So I took a job as a photojournalist. 25 years and thousands of assignments later, it was time to go back to my first love. Come along as I follow my passion trying to create art that shows the essence of nature in a photograph. I'll be sharing my successes and my failures in hopes to inspire and educate. This is my journey. This is Riding the Edge. I'm hoping this 24 will be good enough to be my only wide angle lens because that's my plan. I'm going to be using this 24 millimeter 2.8 as my only wide angle lens for a while. I really want to simplify my lineup when I do my film photography. So I'm hoping this will work. I'm, I'm, I'm confident it will. I, I used to use a 24 millimeter quite a bit when I was uh, a journalist. It's really my first main lens. So I'm confident that this 24 will work. I just haven't used this focal length as a prime lens for a long time. And I'm just uh, wanting to ingrain the, uh, the perspective in my head just a little bit. I've gotten rid of my 20 millimeter and my 28, and I've picked 24 to be right in the middle, hoping then that this will work for pretty much everything I use those lenses for. This is really, <laughs> I'm having a hard time wanting to make this photograph because oh, it's, it's really a not, it's not very good. There's not a lot of foreground information that's interesting and the sky is just so flat right now if we had some texture in the sky I might be more inclined to waste this shot I, I hate wasting film so I don't think I'm going to waste a shot on this on this location I've made better shots here I was kind of hoping it would be a little bit better out here if it was the sky was had a little more texture we had some even if I put a filter on there's just not enough there to, to bring out. So I think, I think we're just gonna have the one shot from, uh, from the bridge. I'm not gonna waste a whole lot of film here.
I really like the texture of this log. We got some nice side light. Cast a little bit of shadow. The light's a little diffused, but it's enough direction to uh, give some nice texture to the to the log. My filter's too big. Now that I finalized all my uh, lenses, which are uh, most of them are now are 52 millimeter. This 77 millimeter filter is kind of a pain in the butt. So what I'll probably have to do is just get another set to match my 52 millimeter uh, <laughs> lenses. I made a couple exposures. I took the first one with the multi-segment matrix metering. Then I also did one with the stop over exposed, just because I think the, the highlights might be trying to fool the meter. I don't anticipate this being a uh, <laughs> great shot, but I don't know, there's something about the balance of it that I'm finding attractive. So it's worth a couple frames. On this wet soggy morning a little bit of dusting of snow I am attracted to this repeated these repeating shapes here these these hanging are these seeds water dripping from them they're wet this might actually work pretty good for a uh, project I'm working on if I can find a way to get them to stand out a little bit. I may have to shoot a little bit shallow depth of field. We got more over here. If I can just find a way to isolate them against the, maybe a darker background or something, we might be able to get something. I've been working on this roll of film for much too long and there's a part of me that thinks I'm just photographing anything now just to get through this roll so I can so I can get it developed. I, I don't even know what's on this roll anymore. I've been working on this roll for probably a month and a half, almost two months and I just want to start something else. I want to start a new project. I'm not sure I normally photograph something like this, but I'm attracted to the this clump of grass and how the, the roots are exposed. The roots do stand out against the uh, the mud, so it, it might be <laughs> it might be more than me just trying to get through the frames. What I failed to do today was grab my 50 millimeter. I thought I had it in my bag. <laughs> now that I look, all I've got to me, with me today is a, a 24 millimeter and a 135 kind of both ends of the spectrum 
this kind of stuff I actually like to use a 50 millimeter with. So I'm a little disappointed that I, I brought the uh, wrong lens. But getting close to the wide angle lens might actually give a little bit more interesting look anyway. And I've noticed over here there's some uh, driftwood that, once again, you know, could be just wanting to get through the roll of film, but <laughs> there might be another exposure over there. finish this roll of Ilford Delta 100, it seems fitting to return back to where I started it much too long ago. If I come away with a portfolio-worthy image, or images that just don't quite hit the mark, whether it takes a day, week, or months, each roll of film takes me on a journey that's worth taking. So until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride.